you are watching your Faster Life Motorcycle channel, and we are at the Long Beach International Motorcycle Show with Motorcycle Extremist, one of my top subscribers. I collaborated with him to bring you this content, and this is going to be the Yamaha presentation, talking about all their new motorcycles, the R1, the R1M, the R1S, the uh, everything, everything. It's all right here. Let's get right to it. and excitement in our industry and even beyond that. That's the only YX1000 or the vehicle here that's off my right. Um, so the YX1000 R is the world's first and only pure sport side by side. Now how does it have that moniker the world's first and only pure sport side by side? Well it starts out with our high performance three cylinder 998cc engine. Not only does it have the highest naturally aspirated horsepower, but it's also the highest revenue at a 10,500 RPM red line. And this really kind of adds the, uh, the exciting engine character the YX, uh, YX-1000R has. Um, with a smooth power delivery and a linear uh, uh, high torque all the way throughout the engine RPMs. So now with that, um, whenever you have a high performance vehicle, kind of in this pure sport world that the YX-1000R lives in, um, a direct connection from the driver to the vehicle really is essential. And, and if you look at any high performance find a common trait or characteristic with that. Um, and that feature is always going to be a manual transmission. So with the YX1000R, we have a industry first, class defining, five speed sequential shift manual transmission. Very similar to what you're going to find on the motorcycle, uh, except your, center, your, your shifter is on the center console. And when you're neutral, to shift down in the first, you simply push forward, and then you pull back uh, for a second through fifth or two up shifts. And this is all simultaneously done with the hydraulic clutch pedal. Uh, that kind of really furthers that driver to vehicle connection. Um, a very smooth linear engagement of the hydraulic clutch as well, of course you need the hy hydro hydraulic clutch pedal, and um, even the nice thing about that too is you don't have any cable to adjust. And compared to a CVT, the YC1000R's manual transmission is up to 20% more efficient, which means you're going to have more horsepower and more power to the ground and to the wheels. And with that, Yamaha really makes sure that the performance and the handling of the machine is unmatched compared to anything else out there. Um, and with that, I mean, this vehicle really is born of true Yamaha DNA. Um, you know, everything from uh, the, the way that the, the low seat height, everything low centralized mass, strategically placed to make sure that the driver or the passenger have that ultimate amount of confidence and comfort in the vehicle, as well as that low mass feeling. And really kind of supplementing the unmatched handling performance or massive Fox 2.5 podium shocks. Uh, they're made into color matched A arms on the front. You get 16 inches of travel, 17 inches of travel on the rear for an overall 13 inches of desert traversing ground clearance. And they're fully adjustable, high low speed compression, um, even you know, rebound, everything in between them to make sure that the vehicle is perfectly matched for whatever train that you're going to be riding. And we worked very closely with Fox to make sure that this vehicle really did match the, uh, the, the handling characteristics that we wanted. The next feature that the YX1000R has is our proven on-command four-wheel drive and our electronic power steering as well. With our EPS system, you have precise handling and performance no matter what your speed. And with our on-command four-wheel drive, you have two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive, full dish lock. Again, these are very proven systems. The reason why I keep on kind of saying proven is the sport side-by-side -side customers are even craving a And all the way down the inside with separate engine transmission oil, going all the way up to full beadlock wheels on our special edition model. And I, it's funny, when I started Yamaha eight years ago, I used to think, oh, yeah, the product development guys, they have the best job out there, the product testing guys, because they get to ride into this stuff all day. Well, when I saw what they go through, not only with the vehicles, but personally, to make sure that everything meets Yamaha's high standards uh, and durability and reliability spec, I only pity the guys, I don't feel, don't feel good for them. But lastly, just wanted to point out all YX1000 R's and all our AT units side by side are proudly assembled at our manufacturing facility in Newton, Georgia for worldwide distribution. And we recently achieved a very commendable milestone at our new facility in producing our 3 millionth unit earlier this year. Um, but that's the tip of the iceberg of the only YX1000 R. If you guys have any other questions, I am available to ask to talk to you. Thank you again for your time. Greatly appreciate it. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you very much, Scott. My name is Aaron Bass. I work in the research and development division.
division with Yamaha Motor Corporation in the USA. Welcome everybody to the Yamaha Displayer, the Long Beach International Motorcycle Show. I'm going to talk about a couple of the new 2016 Yamaha motorcycles. So with that, let's jump right into it and get started. Sorry about the sound, a lot of echo. Thank you. 
by a closed source competition by a political exhaust system. We're using a competition widely set exhaust system. We also have suspension settings that are specifically to for cross country racing applications. And we do have specific cross country racing tires. So those are just a few differences that separate YZ for the FX or the GAC racer, and that's how it separates it from the WRM. Okay, the final category that I'm going to talk about is the sport and the dual purpose category. Uh, the model here, as you can see, this is our new 2016 R9S. Now, we introduced this model just, uh, just recently, but I wanted to talk just a little bit about the positioning of this model and explain how we arrived to offering this, this new model for 2016. So, if you look at the screen, the 1,000 CC Super Sport Rider, there's a couple different riders that are out there. You have the younger Super Sport Rider, you have older customers, and you have different types of usage. Yes. 
All right, so I guess that concludes our Yamaha presentations. Yamaha, Yamaha, Yamaha. Sorry about the audio. It's just the PA system, a lot of echo going on. Not really much you can do about it, but um, hopefully you guys were able to benefit from watching that, and you were able to understand, uh, uh, you know, enough of it. This is the 60th anniversary, R6, I believe we just saw there. This is actually in a New York show. You know, I'm an international motorcycle show stalker. I stalk them around the country. I think that's a VMAX on the right there. Don't really know much of their cruiser lines. So they talked about the R1S, which we see is kind of an entry-level R1. So you want to get an R1, you don't want to pay R1 money. R1 or R1M money, absolutely. That's going to be the highest price there. There's a bolt. Um, so you get the R1S. I'll have to clarify exactly what are all the differences. So someone who's looking, probably looking between the R1 and the R1S. You know, it's a lot of money for the R1, but am I willing to sacrifice whatever for the R1S? The thing is, what are you sacrificing exactly? So I'll try to clarify that. We have Z09. There's the R1, the matte gray. Looking futuristic, aggressive. The R1M on the stand there in the center. And R1M um, cut through or whatever so you can see the you know, workings. All right, Yamaha fans, you are watching your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel, the most awesome motorcycle channel in the universe. Stay tuned for more coverage of the Long Beach show as well as the New York show. Um, I may or may not be wearing the toupee in the future videos. I just kind of saw this. Uh, this is actually uh, what I use for my microphone <coughs> to block the wind. It's like fake fur, and I just randomly put it on. But anyway, um, that is the craziness you do expect to see here. Here's a Kawasaki booth, it looks like. Yes, yeah, so I got all the booth tours, so if you guys can make it to the shows or you aren't close enough to the shows, you get to see all the new bikes. And I did full detail tours of individual bikes as well, so definitely check that out. And look on uh, your Fast Life, my main channel, for the Batman edition, uh, Batman giving you a tour of the floor. Um, I'm pretty proud of how it came out. I liked it. I think I, I, uh, ah, I like the reception that I got in, in the... Uh, my Batman outfit and everything. I think it was uh, it's, it's a good fun. It's good fun to watch as well. A good laugh. And uh, stay tuned for more. This is Carl Allen. You're watching your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel. Yay! Yay! And I'm out.